Have you ever wondered what's really in the food you feed your children? It's a question that may haunt many of us as we navigate the aisles of our local supermarket. One particular culprit hiding in plain sight is a synthetic antioxidant known as TBHQ or tertiary butyl hydroquinone. TBHQ is a common ingredient in many processed foods, from potato chips to frozen dinners and even in some brands of baby food. Its primary function is to extend the shelf life of these products, preventing the fats and oils they contain from going rancid. It's a handy tool for manufacturers, but recent studies have begun to question whether it's a safe one for consumers. But what exactly is TBHQ and why should we be concerned? Well, despite its daunting name, TBHQ is essentially a chemical preservative. It's designed to keep food fresh for longer, but it's this very property that's raising eyebrows among health experts. The worry is that TBHQ, while beneficial for prolonging the life of food products, may not be so beneficial for our bodies, particularly for the developing bodies of our children. Researchers link TBHQ to a range of health issues, from allergies and asthma to more concerning effects on the neurological development of children. There's also evidence to suggest that TBHQ could disrupt the hormonal balance in our bodies. It's a sobering thought to consider that a seemingly harmless food additive could potentially have such far-reaching implication. But it's not all doom and gloom. Knowledge, as they say, is power. By becoming aware of the potential risks of TBHQ, we can make more informed decisions about the food we feed our families. Throughout this discussion, we'll be delving deeper into the potential dangers of TBHQ, exploring the science behind these concerns, and offering advice on how to make healthier food choices. So, whether you're a concerned parent, a health enthusiast, or simply someone interested in the world of food, stay tuned. Let's dig deeper into the potential dangers of TBHQ. Research has indicated that TBHQ could pose significant risks to our health. That's a statement that should make us all sit up and take notice. But what exactly are these risks? Let's delve into the details. To shed light on this subject, we've sought the expertise of medical professionals and nutritionists who've studied the impact of TBHQ on our bodies. They found that this synthetic antioxidant, while great at preserving food, isn't quite as kind to our health. According to these experts, TBHQ has been linked to a range of health problems. These include allergies, which can range from mild skin reactions to severe life-threatening anaphylaxis. Asthma, a condition that affects the airways and can cause difficulty breathing, is another potential risk. Additionally, TBHQ might disrupt hormonal balance. Hormones play a vital role in our bodies, regulating everything from growth and metabolism to mood and reproductive health. Any disruption in their balance can cause a cascade of health issues. Perhaps most concerning of all, especially for parents, is the suggested link between TBHQ and behavioral problems in children. Some studies indicate that exposure to high levels of TBHQ may affect neurological development, potentially leading to issues like hyperactivity and attention deficit disorders. It's clear that the potential risks associated with TBHQ are not to be taken lightly. But it's also crucial to remember that most of these studies have looked at the effects of high levels of TBHQ exposure. The amount of TBHQ in our food is typically much lower. That said, children, due to their smaller body size and developing systems, might be particularly vulnerable to these effects. And considering that TBHQ is often found in processed foods, a staple in many children's diets, this is a concern that warrants our attention. So what's the takeaway here? While more research is needed to fully understand the impact of TBHQ on our health, it's clear that this food additive is not as harmless as it might seem. As consumers, and especially as parents, it's important that we stay informed and make food choices that prioritize the health and well-being of our families. The potential impact of TBHQ on our children's health warrants our attention. Let's keep this conversation going. Oh. Parents are becoming increasingly worried about the potential dangers of TBHQ. As we dig deeper into the issue, we find that many guardians share a common fear. They voice their worries, their anxieties echoing each other. One mother confesses, I'm terrified, knowing that something as seemingly innocent as a food additive could jeopardize my child's health is deeply unsettling. A father chimes in, it's a wake up call. I never realized the potential dangers of TBHQ until now. It makes me question every food choice I make for my family. 
These are the voices of concern, the voices of love. They reflect a growing unease about the invisible enemy that might be hiding in our children's meals. Their fears remind us of our responsibility. They serve as a call to arms, a call to awareness. We must take action to protect our children from harmful additives like TBHQ. Recognizing foods that contain TBHQ can be a daunting task. This synthetic antioxidant has become a staple in many processed foods, from crackers and cooking oils to frozen dinners and fast food. But here's the tricky part. It's not always clearly labeled on food packaging. This makes it difficult for consumers like you and me to make informed choices about what we're putting into our bodies, and more importantly, into the bodies of our children. You might be wondering why isn't TBHQ always labeled? The answer lies in the maze of food regulations. In some countries, manufacturers are allowed to simply list antioxidants or preservatives on their ingredient lists without specifying what these additives are. This lack of transparency means that TBHQ could be lurking in your pantry right now unbeknownst to you. So how can you spot this elusive ingredient? One way is to familiarize yourself with the most common foods that contain TBHQ. These include, but are not limited to, microwave popcorn, frozen pizzas, and certain brands of peanut butter. It's also found in many snack foods, such as chips, cookies, and granola bars, but don't be disheartened. While the task of identifying TBHQ in foods may seem overwhelming, remember that knowledge is power. By educating ourselves about the potential dangers of TBHQ and other additives, we can make smarter, healthier choices for ourselves and our families. It's also important to note that not all packaged foods contain TBHQ. Many companies are committed to using natural ingredients and transparent labeling, so don't be afraid to do a little research and find brands that align with your values. And lastly, let's not forget one of the simplest ways to avoid TBHQ and other additives. Opting for fresh, whole foods whenever possible. Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains are always a safe bet. In the end, awareness and education are key to protecting ourselves and our children from the potential dangers of TBHQ. So how can we safeguard our families from the potential dangers of TBHQ? The answer lies in our hands. It's important that we take the initiative to educate ourselves about the ingredients in our food. This means going beyond the front of the packaging and diving deep into the fine print of labels. It's about familiarizing ourselves with the names of additives like TBHQ and understanding what they can do to our bodies. But it doesn't stop there. Advocating for transparency in food labeling is another vital step. Let's demand clearer, more accessible information about what goes into our food. Remember, knowledge is power. Now let's use that power to spread awareness. If this video has enlightened you about TBHQ, please share it. Let's inform more people about the potential risks of this common food additive. By working together, we can ensure the health and safety of our families. Let's make the food industry a safer place, one ingredient at a time.